I believe everyone loved the cute story of the wise man who came from very far away to offer gold, myrrh, and frankincense to the infant Jesus. However, when we go back to the Gospel according to Matthew, this is not the story we are told. Essentially, there's the story of a group of uh, stranger from the East who literally crashed the story of the Nativity. Those uninvited stranger just show up out of, like I said, from, from East, from far away, with their different culture and their different religion, and they arrive in Jerusalem looking for a king, but not the existing king, not the authority already in place. No, they're looking for a new king, the one who they believe is the righteous one. And today, we, I, I wonder how we would react when, if someone do that. Probably would say, whoa, 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 whoa. Before coming here and turning everything upside down, well, begin to learn and respect our ways, our laws, our custom, our culture, and then, maybe then, you could have an opinion about who is the rightful ruler. Well, in this case, the rightful ruler was Herod, who was famous for his paranoia, and out of panic, he tried to kill, in this case, literally, this threat to this position. All that he wants is to avoid change, to avoid all form of pertub perturbation. Yet, Herod said the right thing to the Magi. They said, well, when you will have found this new king, well, come back, tell me where I can find this infant so I can pay homage. But we know it's a lie. We know it's a lie. No surprise there. And once again, if we were the one in Herod's shoes, how would we react? Because often we say the right thing. Oh, we for uh, more diversity in a society. We we are, you know, concerned with climate changes. We need to do something. We want an equal distribution of wealth in our society. We want to protect the minorities. But too often, deep down, there's a but. There's a little asterisk. You know, we want this as long as it's not too difficult. As long as it does not change the status quo. As long as we're not losing money or some of our privilege or our lifestyle. So we resist. We find excuses. We try to postpone any decision. But as Matthew tried to tell us, Sometimes it's not an option. It's not a possibility. In Jesus' birth, there's a chain of event that profoundly changed the world. And we cannot say, stay the same. In a way, we have to choose our camp. Are we those who want to embrace transformation? Or will we be those who will fight it? And as I'm recording this um, clip a few hours before the end of the year, I think I would like to invite us to be those who, in the next year, in months or weeks, to be those who dare to be different. Those who help our world to venture outside of our zones of comfort. Those who try new adventure. Those who are ready to welcome change and renewal. I hope 
this new year will be an opportunity for us to see the opportunity around us and embrace it and not to be afraid. Thank you for watching once again. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stefan Vermette. And until next time, take care of yourself and bye-bye.